I'm back at this again. You guys really like the other Play-Doh video. Yeah, we're just gonna do another one. So shout out to Ryan's Toy Reviews for inspiring this video. But today, we're gonna be playing with some Play-Doh kitchen creations. Specifically, we're gonna be making breakfast using Play-Doh. Can we do it? What does it taste like? We're about to find out. So here we go. Okay, guys, welcome to Roy's Toy Reviews. <laughs> welcome to Roy's Toy Reviews. So we have here um, a waffle maker. You have here a waffle. Oh, we can make other things here. Wow, you can make a, a sandwich. We can make 11 waffles. <laughs> Toppings here. We have a starfish for some reason. Here we go. Let's open the rest here. Cool. We have blue. We have purple. We have magenta, aqua, Spider-Man, and we have black. And then we have some other utensils. We have a pizza maker, a spork, a knife, a lobster claw. We also have instructions on how to make the food. Wow, look at this one. Whoa! You can make a crepe? We're gonna have to make that today. That is insane. And we have some plates as well. We have three different plates. We have a toilet roll and we have whatever her name is from Beauty and the Beast. Let's start really simple. We're gonna make some Eggos, okay? Some Eggo waffles. Grab your yellow and then put it into this thing. Make sure you uh, distribute it on the ego thing really nicely. There you go. Now you just go like this, and then it should create your own ego waffles. It disappeared, guys. Where did it go? Adabakababa. Oh, look at it. It's right here. So, uh, oh wow, it didn't really do it too well. Let's try that again. Boom. I think it needs more play dough here. Perfect. Boom. Whoa. I'm shook. Look at that! Eggo waffle right over here. It really does look like it. Here we go, let's put that right there. You can't have a waffle without syrup, so grab your Buttersworth syrup. Wow, that looks very good. You can't even tell that that thing looks like a real waffle. That is insane. Okay, we made the waffles. It's time to make some crepes. So this is how you make the crepe here. Instruction one, instruction two, instruction three. We gotta grab our brown Play-Doh, and then we gotta squish it real quick, so we gotta just mold it like this, make sure you flatten it out. Grab your uh, circle cutter, and we wanna make a perfect circle without. There you go, boom! And spin it around, and you have a perfect circle. Cool, now we gotta make some strawberries. So grab your pink or red, whatever you wanna call it. Welcome to Roy's Taurus! And then all you wanna do <laughs> is go right here, and then you kinda have to find the hole for the strawberry, which is right over here. Push it down a little bit like this. Okay, I think it's stuck guys. We don't need that. All you gotta do is grab this and just kind of just roll it in little balls. It kind of looks like little strawberries, right? Yo, for real, like low-key, this is kind of fun playing with this Play-Doh. When I was younger, I was too lazy to build things like this, but I'm older now. This is more fun the older you get. Okay, here we go. Cool beans. Okay, I don't know if this is for real, but I think they put real whipped cream in here. Oh wait, no they don't. Oh, oh, I get it. I got it. We're gonna make a whipped cream right now. So grab your uh, teapot because that's where whipped cream comes from. You gotta adjust it so the hole looks like that. And now grab your pounder, put it on top, and then watch slowly as we make the whipped cream. Here we go. Ooh, that is freaking awesome. What the heck is going on? Who would have known Plato would have been this fun, man? This is awesome. That is so freaking awesome. Now from here, all you want to do is wrap it around like a crepe. That is cool. I think it needs more strawberries. Put some more strawberries here. Grab your brown. We're going to grab brown. And then we're going to put the brown in the teapot thing. This will signify as the syrup. Wow, that is amazing. And now just grab your regular syrup and then add the cherry on top. So we got the Eggo waffle and we got the crepe there. Grab your blue. We have blue Play-Doh. So we're going to put some blueberries on the Eggo waffle. Welcome to Roy's Toy Reviews. Check it out, that looks freaking amazing. Wow. All right guys, and that is how you do it. That is how you make breakfast with Roy's Toy Reviews. Once you're done here, all you wanna do is just uh, grab your whipped cream, finishing touches. Ooh. Ooh. Beautiful. That is just beautiful. By the way, do not eat this. I'm just trying to just be funny and eat it. So kids, do not eat it. Okay, let's try the crepe. This looks good, right? Whoa. Why would they build breakfast Play-Doh if you can't even eat it? Play-Doh, you gotta make some edible Play-Doh because I feel like that will be delicious. <laughs> Roy's Toy Reviews. All right, thank you for watching today's episode of Roy's Toy Reviews. Let me know if you guys want more. I'll give you some more. If not, no more. Stay juicy.